Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install NetBeans IDE on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. NetBeans IDE is a IDE, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment using which you can develop Java, PHP or C++ or many other programs related to Java. So to install NetBeans IDE what you need is the basic dependency of NetBeans IDE is the Java uh, you need to have Java installed in your uh, Windows operating system so first of all we will uh, download and install Java and then we are going to install NetBeans IDE so just open your favorite browser and just uh, search for Java JDK and the first link here you will find will be from oracle.com just click this link and here you will be able to see this uh, java icon just click this java icon and in here you will be able to uh, see different versions of java so you just need to accept license and conditions and then you will just uh, need to install this uh, windows uh, binary or windows executables file if you are using windows 8 or 8.1 most probably you will be having a 64-bit operating system so you need to choose this last option just click this and the download will start and the installation of this java is really easy you just need to click some next button and uh, it will uh, automatically takes care of itself once uh, this installation of java is completed you will be able to see this java folder inside your uh, local disk or c folder go inside your c folder and in here you will be able to see one uh, folder called program files and in here you can see this uh, java folder in here you will be able to see uh, two folders one is jdk jdk stands for java development kit and uh, the other folder will be jre which stands for java runtime environment now in order to develop java programs in uh, your uh, uh, netbeans id you just need to uh, set these environment variables to uh, your uh, operating system so just search for system in your uh, pc and in the system just click this advanced system settings and in here go to environment variables and in the system variables you will be able to find a variable called path and in here you just need to copy or you just need to go to this jdk folder and inside go to binary folder and copy this whole path here all the you know binary files uh, related to java are there so just copy this path and just give a semicolon after your uh, all the environment variables so just go at the last in this variable value and give a semicolon and just paste your uh, folder location same we will do for uh, the jre folder so inside this there will be a jre folder also and in here there will be a binary so folder so just copy this path and then just give a semicolon and paste this path click ok click ok and click ok so now all the environment variables are set now we are ready to download and install netbeans ide so just search for netbeans on your uh, favorite uh, search engine and the first link you will find here from netbeans.org so we will click this link and in here we will be able to find uh, this netbeans ide the latest version at the time of making this video is 8.0.2 uh, just click this uh, download button here and in here uh, in the download section you will be able to see some of the versions of uh, NetBeans IDE. So uh, there are version which uh, you know which you can download for developing Java SE or Java EE 
or only for C++ or only for HTML5 and PHP development. But uh, the one I would prefer is the whole package, which is this one. So just click uh, this uh, download button in front of this all section. It's a big uh, file or executable file, but uh, later your difficulties will be less whenever you want to uh, develop some other software or languages. So just click this link and this will lead to this download link and just save this and it can take some time to download so just wait for it to download and once it downloaded you will be able to see this kind of executable file okay so netbeans minus 8.0.2 minus windows just click this executable file here which you have downloaded for netbeans and click yes and i will minimize all the other things and now the setup for the netbeans will start in some moments So now it's uh, configuring the installer for the NetBeans. And now uh, you will be able to confirm here that uh, this NetBeans IDE is going to install all these features in your IDE. Just click finish or next. And in here you uh, just need to read this license terms and condition and if you agree with these uh, terms and condition just click I accept and click next and in here also some uh, terms and condition click I accept and next and this is the location where your NetBeans IDE will be uh, installed and see here one whenever you have installed Java this uh, JDK folder location is automatically taken by NetBeans so that that's why we have uh, install java in our system so that it can automatically recognize this jdk folder just click next and it's uh, it says that it's also uh, going to install glass fish uh, which is a server and uh, the location is default i'm going to uh, leave it as default and click next and i will click install Just wait for this process to complete. So now our installation is complete and just leave uh, this checkbox uh, clicked and click finish. And now you can see this NetBeans icon here, right? So you can click this icon to launch NetBeans IDE. Just click this icon. And now uh, we are ready to create our first uh, project in NetBeans IDE. Let's create a Java project. So go to the file menu here, create new project. And in here you will be able to find a different kind of uh, project you want to make using Java. So let's uh, click Java and click Java application. Click next. And in here it will uh, activate your Java SE. And you can give the name to your project and these are the lo uh, default location i'm going to click finish and your first uh, java program is created by netbeans for you
now in here you can uh, you know edit this uh, program this is a default program created by netbeans and let's print uh, hello world uh, using this program so you just need to write system dot out dot print and let's print hello world okay now just click this uh, save so that uh, program is saved and you can uh, run this program but before running you need to build this project so just click this button here hammer button and it will compile your program and once the program is compiled you can run your program So our program is compiled and you can just click run to run your program and now in the console we can see hello world printed here so we have successfully installed netbeans on our windows 8 operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now